In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open a zip file on Windows. A zip file is kind of like a folder full of files, but all the files have been compressed together to form one larger file to make it easier to transfer. So if you have a zip file on your computer and you want to access the files inside it, you'll need to extract the zip file to take the files out of it. It sounds pretty complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. The first step is to just double click on the zip file. So Timmy's got a zip file here Timmy wants to extract and Timmy will just double click on it like that. And now sometimes if you've never opened a zip file before, it might ask you to select an app, but File Explorer can open zip files just fine. So you just want to leave it set to File Explorer and choose Always. And now it'll pull up this new window and you'll be able to see all of the files that are inside the zip file. But they're still stuck inside the zip file. So you can't actually use them or do anything with them like that. They're just sort of in there and you're staring at them. So what you'll need to do now is press and hold the control key on your keyboard and then press the letter A on your keyboard and this will select all the files inside the zip file. And now to get them out of the zip file and actually extract them so that they become just normal files on your computer, you'll need to click and drag them into any folder that is outside the zip file. So if we move this window out of the way a little bit, we can see we have the desktop folder there. So what Timmy's going to do is click and drag on one of these files and drop it in there onto the desktop. And now it will extract all of the files and possibly folders out of the zip file and copy them onto the desktop in the desktop folder. It doesn't have to be the desktop folder. You could drop them in downloads or documents or any folder you like, but just drag them out of the zip file and drop them there. And this will actually extract them so that you can use them just like normal files on your computer. And if it's a lot of large files or your computer's a bit slow, this might take quite a while, but it's already finished for Timmy because Timmy's file wasn't very big. And we will still have this window here, but you don't need this anymore. You can click across there and get rid of that. And now, as you can see in here, in this folder where we dragged all the files to, we now have all of these files that were inside the zip file. We still have this zip file here because it just copies all of the files out of it and you still end up with the zip file. But you can really just click on this and delete it now if you want to, because there's really no need for you to keep it unless you want to move it to a different computer and extract it there as well or something else. But now the zip file is gone and we just have all of these files. So if it was just some loose files in the zip file, You'll have all of these files here and they're just like any normal files on your computer. And if there were folders inside the zip file, you'll now have those folders in here. And all the files inside them will be organized just the way they were when they were zipped up into the zip file. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can open up a zip file and extract all the files out of it on a Windows computer. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful, but if you want to learn how you can compress files into a zip file to make your own zip file, Timmy actually has another tutorial about how you can do that on a Windows computer here. So if you have any interest in doing that, you might want to click right here and go and watch that video. But if you don't want to do that at all, you can maybe subscribe and like, and Timmy will see you in another video soon.